a, a what I'm just going to call the super cap simple electronic pulse motor. And this circuit I've used a lot before, <clears throat> especially with the microamp pulse motors. It was a dad have idea of using a complementary transistor circuit uh, to get one coil to fire off either a north south or all monopole rotor. And then it was modified by backup CPU and me and a bunch of other people played around with it. But I got it to work on this setup really, really well. And I've got Maggie here to help show what's going on. The whole project spun off of these magnets. And I'll give a link to the magnets. And I got them at uh, an outlet online. And they're, I believe, security system um, magnets. They're really strong. They're probably neodymium. And uh, it made this project really uh, work. Let me turn it on here. This is the little circuit. Now, I've pre-filled that 6 Farad super cap using an 18650 uh, lithium uh, battery, a 3.5 volt battery. So, but let me turn this on and show you how it works. And there's my little friend lighting up. And there's the, uh, the circuit's running now. The rotor's going. And it's really pretty neat because it doesn't make any noise. And uh, that uh, idea of using the uh, these magnets, I took the magnets out of the shells and just mounted them on the rotor. I'll stop it again here. And they're just stuck on there with um, double-sided tape and then a traction with the strong neodymium magnet. If you were going to keep this uh, anywhere near a window or something, you'd want to put a piece of tape around that. But... You just spin the thing up, and then this thing starts to trigger. There's the circuit again. And like I say, it's a modified dad have circuit going back years and years, but it worked really good for this. Let me start it up again. And there goes uh, Maggie. Yeah, Maggie is just a, a coil of wire. You know, all she is is a coil of wire. There's no batteries on Maggie. There's a bridge rectifier, and then some pigtails to... Uh, test the voltage coming off of her and she uh, she's a pickup coil yeah, but these strong neodymium magnets these things here really really worked good for this um, this pulse motor and the pulse motor is suspended on uh, needles and steel Phillips screws with a good lubricant in there this is a 30 gauge um, 10 ohm coil and then this complementary transistor circuit here with a red indicator on the LED. But anyway, I just want to share that with people that uh, this was a fun little project that uh, this is what I recommend. It would be a great science fair project or a good project for anyone. Thanks for watching.